Hi, it's Elizabeth. I got a great meatball recipe for you today. I think meatballs are almost as American as apple pie. And this meatball recipe might be just as popular. It combines great, intense, savory flavors of garlic and soy sauce with sweet honey and ketchup. So I usually shy away from recipes that contain ketchup. But in meatloaf or meatball recipes, it's the perfect ingredient. It adds a creaminess and a sweetness without adding any extra sugar. So the first thing you do is in a small bowl, you're going to whisk together the eggs and the soy milk. Now I whisk these things together first so that they get fully incorporated in the meat later. Now you're going to add the breadcrumbs and the onion powder and mix it together with the meat. And let's face it, the best way to mix meat is with your hands. You're going to make sure you incorporate everything together, but you're not going to overdo the mixing. When you overdo the mixing with a meatball recipe, you make your meatballs really tough and rock-like. And we want them to be soft and savory. So now it's time to shape the meatballs. Scoop out a small amount of the meat mixture and shape the ball in your hand. You want them to be about ping pong ball size. Place them about an inch apart on a jelly roll pan. You should get about 30 meatballs on each pan. You're gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. So while your meatballs are cooking, you have time to make that savory sauce. Heat the oil in a saucepan over medium-high heat for about a minute. Add the garlic and you should hear a sizzle and your kitchen should start to smell great. You want to see it soften but not get brown. When garlic gets brown, it gets a little bit bitter and you only want this to be sweet and zesty. Then you can add the rest of your ingredients, the ketchup, the soy sauce, and that delicious sweet honey. Stir it till it's fully incorporated and then wait for it to come to a boil. When you see it has a nice boil, turn the heat down to a simmer, cook it for about five minutes till it starts to thicken. So it's been 15 minutes, your meatballs are ready. Take them out of the oven, gently place them into the simmered sauce. And it's important to use a slotted spoon here because you don't want to add any extra fat to this dish. Move them around a bit so that all the sauce coats those meatballs and the flavors get a chance to marry together. I like to serve these meatballs over rice. My kids love them, adults love them, and you're gonna love them too. Let me know, I really want to hear from you and check out more great recipes on the Just Turn Network.